I had actually, I was actually a part of SAC when I didn't have a, an official position, just a regular member of SAC. And it was something that I had seen from afar at my previous university and something that I decided that I wanted to be a part of once I transferred to UTRGV. It was outside of my comfort zone, first of all, and I thought it was something that would be great for me personally, to learn how to be in charge of a group of people, learn how to delegate better. It was something I wanted to be a part of that I saw we were headed in a certain direction that I wanted to be the head of. Just being the leader that everyone looks up to has been something that I've strived to work better at becoming. Someone that everyone looks to for advice when the decision has to be made. And then just the other aspects of the time management, the delegation, things like that that just come along with being the leader. I got to uh, meet different members of SAC organizations that I wouldn't have met through just basketball alone. And we just basically shared, or we met for two days just talking about different initiatives and what we think works, what we think doesn't work and just kind of shared our experiences of what works within our own SAC organizations and brought back some really, really good ideas. The time management has been a huge, huge key for me just to learn how to juggle basketball in school and being the SAC president on top of being a student student mentor, it's been, it's been a struggle to juggle all that, juggle all that stuff and find the time to put forth the effort that everything deserves. Delegating to other people, trusting others to be able to do the job that I asked them to. It's, it's, all, been, it's all been great for me. I'm very, very glad I decided to do it. <laughs> That's something that I'd always wanted to do is make a change in the community. And once I joined SAC, it was clear that I was in the right organization to do that. We're doing a lot of community service things and that's something that I had really been wanting to do with, with basketball and especially now that I have another opportunity to do that outside of basketball. So I essentially oversee at the start of the year is our strategic planning for the initiatives that we set out that we want to accomplish throughout the year, delegate jobs to other members of the SAC organization so they can be involved as well, and meet with different subcommittees to make sure that everyone's working towards the goals that we set out to at the start of the year. A few things we wanted to do was collaborate across campus, which we have been doing with the herd and the with the creation of the student section, collaborating with Greeks, SGA, OSI, different organizations like that, and then also being getting more involved in the community. I think uh, we have over I think 430 community service hours, which has been huge. That's something that, like I said, I really wanted to do is get out in the community and something that we just actually got back from going to the children's hospital and just getting involved there and bringing smiles to kids' faces outside of sports. Just being an athlete, you have a lot of eyes on you already the little kids looking up to you whether you know it or not just to be a good example a good role model for those kids and I think it's no different with being a president or a head of another organization you have a lot of eyes you know you have to act a certain way and it's just another opportunity to be a good role model to show people how things should should be done